What's good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. Make sure you subscribe and hit the bell if you are new to this channel, because boy, we about to get into this damn episode. Bringing up my man, Jerome Adams. My bad is Dr. Jerome Adams. And he is our current U.S. Surgeon General. He was appointed to that position on August the 3rd, 2017. And he is a board certified anesthesiologist, okay? Now, for us, especially for me, as an African-American male and a brother who has a love for the health system, I was very, very excited to know that one of our people have ascended to the position of Surgeon General. It's not the first time an African-American has been a Surgeon General, but it has been, I believe, maybe the first time an African-American male has been one. So I was I was very excited about that. Actually, the second time, right, that, that a male has been when I was black. So I was very excited about that, and I was very happy about that. Now, I want to talk about this whole situation about black men being successful and black men going into those careers because a lot of times when you see a brother that's an accountant a brother that's a doctor, a brother that's a lawyer. In those fields, brother with an MBA, let's just be honest, it's not often, okay? And then when you see the brother that's in that sort of field, well, we already know, usually, that it's a good chance he's not married to somebody black. And there's a better chance that he's married to someone white, okay? And this is where we're at right now. Jerome Adams is married to a white lady by the name of Lacey Adams. And, um... She suffered from uh, melanoma for many years, and she's a survivor of that, and they actually have children together. But one of the knocks on him was that he's married to a white lady. And that's one of the things that a lot of the Republicans and black conservatives get accused of, is that you know the only blacks that can rise up amongst conservatives usually are the ones married to whites. You know, like people say the same thing about Candace Owens. The people that Republicans pull up that are black are those married to whites, usually, okay? And um, I wanna kinda talk about this because this is important. Now, we're under the, the good Wuhan virus epidemic right now. And because we're underneath this virus, in February, when it started picking up a little bit, African Americans and people of color were not targeted. Or should I say, they were not, you know, getting the virus as much. It was more of a, you know, white folks were getting it, you know, people in Europe, we're getting it a lot. Italy, Spain, that's who was dealing with the virus, right? And a lot of black people were thinking that, well, I can't get this because I'm black, which, I mean, that's that's ridiculous, but you know, that's what Negroes think. Negroes love uh, conspiracy theories. And then in February, we thought that a mask could not protect you from coronavirus. And now we have found out that that's not true. Masks do protect against it. And that's, that's the truth. And, and, and even the Surgeon General went out and misinformed the public, had me misinforming the public. So he has since retracted that statement. But now in April, blacks and people of color are just falling off, especially places like Milwaukee. There are certain areas in St. Louis, I believe 100%, somebody said, of the coronavirus victims are black. And then in the case of this, the Surgeon General is responsible for now because the cases are putting so much on the healthcare system and that we don't have a public healthcare system like the NHS or like that in Europe. We have a private one. So the Surgeon General has to get out in front of this and talk to the people that are affected. In this case, African Americans and people of color Latinos. So I'm gonna play a clip right here where you see the President is there, the Surgeon General is there, and the Surgeon General is going to speak to the country and address the situation with people of color. We're gonna go ahead and play that clip and I'm gonna come back and give my commentary. Stay at home if possible. If you must go out, maintain six feet of distance between you and everyone else and wear a mask if you're going to be within six feet of others. Wash your hands more often than you ever dreamed possible. Avoid alcohol, tobacco, and drugs. And call your friends and family, check in on your mother, she wants to hear from you right now. And speaking of mothers, we need you to do this, if not for yourself, then for your abuela. Do it for your granddaddy. Do it for your big mama. Do it for your pop pop. We need you to understand, especially in communities of color, we need you to step up and help stop the spread so that we can protect those who are most vulnerable. This epidemic is a tragedy, but it will be all the more tragic if we fail to recognize and address the disproportionate impact of COVID-19 and an array of other diseases and risk factors on communities of color. 
The task force in this administration are determined not to let that happen. The President, the Vice President, has said we will not let that happen. We can't fix these issues overnight, but I promise you we will work with your communities to quickly and meaningfully move the needle in the right direction. Nothing less than the fate of our families and friends, my family and friends, depends on it. All right, you know what he said, okay? Now, number one, Donald Trump is there, and I'm not sure if Trump sees this, if he knows what the guy's gonna say. I don't know if he knows what he's gonna say, in general. But obviously, you know, Trump is there, and General Adams, he, you, you hear what he says. Do it for your big mama. Do it for your abuela. Do it for your granddaddy. Now, we all know that nobody says granddaddy, usually, but black folks, and especially pop, pop. The problem with this is that if it was coming from somebody like me, you know, a Surgeon General that has a connection with the black community, number one, you don't talk to black people like that, all right? Especially in front of the nation. Black people understand English, Surgeon General Adams, or Surgeon General uh, Jerome Adams. We understand English, okay? Now, the diction and the depth of vocabulary could not be as much as yours, but we do understand it, okay? And I understand that you're trying to slow the spread of the coronavirus, but at the same time, we do understand English. And we do understand stay in your homes, you know, the African-American community is targeted right now, or not targeted, but suffering. You know, we want African-Americans to stay in the house. And if you can't do that for yourself, do it for those you care about. Do it for those who you love, okay? Do it for your mother, do it for your children. Everybody understands that sentiment. But then when you go back to do it for your granddaddy, do it for your big mama, do it for your pop pop. Now what it comes off is, uh oh, here, here we go. Donald Trump, and even if this is not the case, this is certainly what it looks like. Donald Trump has the Negro to come up and speak to black people because he knows he can't do it. So it's almost like, all right, Negro, get up there and say, do it for your granddaddy, do it for your big mama, do it for your pop pop. And it's like this guy, if you listen to him and he's black, is he? You know, I think he's African-American, I'm pretty sure. But this is a brother that, in all actuality, he has no ties to the black community, okay? We all know this. He does. He just happens to be black. And this is the problem with black conservatives in general. I talk about this all the time. The black conservatives that are on social media, for the most part, only maybe two, I think, may have some kind of relationship with the black community. Me and my, my, my buddy Anthony Brian Logan talk about this. We used to talk about it all the time. Shout out to Anthony Brian Logan. Okay. And the reason why I mentioned it my brother, because we talk about this all the time. We used to at least when we would, would have shows together. The situation is a lot of conservatives happen to be black, but they're not connected to the black community. And it just shows that they're not connected to the black community because if they were, they would not use phrases at that. And this is what we call talking at black people, not to them. And this is another situation that a lot of blacks are saying, okay, bro, you're trying to talk black, but you're sleeping white. And this is what happens when a lot of talented African-Americans, such as General Jerome Adams, you know, you get to where you are in life. And you know, when it's a situation where you're addressing the black community, you're trying to you're trying to still come and fit in to the narrative. And a person that gets dragged a lot for this is somebody like Shannon Sharp. Now Shannon Sharp definitely sounds more black than Jerome Adams, but you know, he's known all the time for sleeping with white women. And that's the biggest issue from Surgeon General Jerome Adams is that, number one, bro, you know that you're a Republican, okay? And we gotta be honest. Black Republicans or black conservatives are already looked at as sellouts. Whether that might not be the truth, that's what it looks like, okay? You should be about the business of wanting to bring blacks to conservative ideology. And one of the things that the Democrats always do is they talk at black people, not to them. General Jerome Adams is doing just that. He's talking at the black community, especially when you are a black man that has a white wife. Now, you know that's something that's very sensitive, all right? Now, I know a lot of brothers, you know, don't care and all of this, and I, I really don't care, right? But we all know that a lot of black people do have problems with blacks that are in interracial relationships. A lot of black men say they don't care about it when black women do it, they do, okay? And a lot of black women say they don't care when black men do it, they really do, all right? Black men care less. You're a talented African-American with a white woman, which some people would say like, okay, the lady looks like she's like 70 years old or something like that. I'm not saying that, but I know some people will say that, okay? You gotta be very careful in how you use your verbiage. You just do. You have to be very careful with that. And 
what people are going to accuse you is uh, as a black man is you're trying to talk black but you're really sleeping white you're black man with a white woman you want to be white but you want to talk black and that's what general jerome adams is the black community saying about him right now and really based off what he's saying and i, I get it maybe this comes from a good place maybe he's trying to connect and one of the things that people do that haven't been in the black community before they're trying to connect maybe he's trying to connect to the latino community he is a surgeon general he doesn't want people dying under his you know administration of being surgeon in general so i would understand so i'm not gonna come down on the brother for that but i do think that whoever is trying to write his speech or gather his speech and stuff like that listen we need to be able to look at this from a more culturally sensitive or being insensitive perspective and understand that what we say even though we don't intend for it to mean and, 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 and although we don't intend for it to mean to be disrespectful it is it can be so that's all i gotta say man it's your boy o'shea duke jackson another episode of the celebrity jump and you know your boy is just so glad to be doing this man make sure you go ahead and subscribe hit the bell and all of that stuff you know do all of those things and let me just do a, uh something real quick man i want to give a shout out to my brother right my brother love seat shawty and you know he has an ebay store man where he sells shoes right and like refurbished jordans and things like that i want to go ahead and basically shout him out man that's his um his ebay store right there you know what i'm saying he sells restored sneakers on ebay so if you ever get a chance man go over there support my brother go buy some stuff you got some stuff cracking you know you see the items for sale right there they look pretty good man go support our brother man he's doing some great things over there so he got all the stuff that you need and as you know the buffoonery of these negroes are at an all-time high peace